Hello and welcome. Yes, this is a good look. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. This could be very useful. You have an eye for craftsmanship. All done. I'm off. Be well, friend. Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. It's more a lake of wheat, I think. I beg your pardon? If we're to be friendly, Elfgard... You should laugh at my jokes. <laughs> yes, you Danes and your sense of the absurd. It's marvelous, quite marvelous. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. 
To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. If only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that, that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified, not of being raided, but of their spouses being sick. Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. My old friend Grimm. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elfgard has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor, did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves! Wolves everywhere! And not a bear in sight! something you'll want to see here.
Smoke! My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Someone waited until you were away to set I your world not be seen in this area. I'll send them straight to hell! The marauding menace! Bloody <laughs> Dane lover. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well.
Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's not an easy choice to make. But I will choose with care, I promise. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright, that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man. If somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is, and a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious Swat. Bishop. Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses.
Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety, but he is wisest of the three and has already proven himself. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hundbjörn, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. The septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Steal yourself, Grunwald. Mother of God! Another battle! Welcomes a new elder. The Lord will see us prevail. Ah. <laughs> 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 Die! 
This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Ultiman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs, and tend to the remaining wounded, until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God, or... or the gods, protect you. The Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Paraphrase the bomb around the shit eater. The devil has enough pain to see. Bloody murderer! Oh, Shire! What remains? My heaven waits. A bold attack, and in broad daylight, the hatred that eats at that man. What news, Hunwald? We've learned that Herevrith rode for the fort at Anicastri, following the massacre. I have assembled a feared there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Selderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp, and we'll find out together. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft, but stranger still. I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The den of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Atcha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. 
Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. We are the men of Lincolnshire! Should be got... Here's the camp, do you see? The feared will soon be ready for action. Give them mead and let them rest. There's hard fighting ahead. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chief Naval, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Lincolnshire! The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along.
mad! You, point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. the light of my order to a wider view I did based myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Heravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Eivor, is he... is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve.
Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Let's go. Sail! Catch the wind! pick up from there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Give me a hand over here. Come here! Stop and die! The place is all mine! Can't do this alone. to the ship! Even when Dog was younger, he had a streak in him. Hate to see it go that way. But you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? I would like to see what you have in stock. You have a keen eye for quality. I feel like a proud father. Look how strong you are. 
All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. I'm sad to take this one away, but it will make me proud. You are looking powerful. I must take my leave. So long. Until next we meet. Aid me, be my eyes. Your baker is done, Tarvin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I cannot help now. Maybe later. No, Russ. Just let me know. What do you see?
Eivor. Altegay? Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout.